Good morning, everyone. This is Freddie here at Village Yoga in Potomac. You know my spiel. We are a donation-based program. Got my good buddy Dave here with me today. He's going to be helping us get through this class together. Um, if you're in a place where things are cool and you can donate, awesome. If that's not your thing, awesome. Just come on in and take some yoga with us. It is, that's the most important thing. If you know someone out there that could use some yoga and is not in a great place, go ahead and send our link. I make it really easy. Everything's online. Everything's accessible. You don't have to wait for me to email you back. You don't need a special code. The passcode has been the same passcode since we started. So a lot of you probably know what it is already. Um, we're gonna get going today. So today we're gonna start in, um, let's start in child's pose. So take the knees nice and wide. I like my knees almost as wide as my mat. My big toes will touch. And I'll start by just shifting my tush back down towards my heels and just wiggling myself down. And then I'll walk the hands forward and down and come into child's pose. Relaxing down onto the mat. Let's inhale up onto our hands and our knees. You don't have to move the knees yet. Just inhale up onto them. Good, exhale, push back, find that child's pose again. Again, inhale, let's come up onto hands and knees. And exhale, let's push back child's pose. This time as you hit that child's pose, slide the left hand just off the left side of the mat. Put your right hand on top of it inside a nice side stretch here. Breathe. Two more breath here. One more breath here. Let's come back to center and let's go the other way. Breathing nice and easy here. One more breath. And let's come back to center. Let's inhale up onto our hands and our knees. Just big inhale up on your knees. So bring those knees a little bit more like hip width apart. Let's just start making some nice circles here. Anything round and round that feels good. And then the other direction. And let's come to neutral spine. Exhale into a cat. Really push the spine away from you. Inhale into a cow. Bring the heart forward. Again, exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. One more time. Exhaling into a cat. And inhaling into a cow. Let's extend that right foot straight back. Left hand forward. Breathe nice and easy here. Good. Drop the right toe down to the mat. Drop the left hand down to the mat. Extend the right hand forward to match the left and just push into this modified stretch here, creating length. Keep your hands where they are. Take a couple breaths like this. Extend through the right heel. Good. Drop the right knee down next to the left. Extend the left leg straight back. Breathe. Take a couple breaths here. Good. Start walking your hands back underneath your shoulders. Pick that left leg up and extend the right arm forward. You should be on the other side. Take a full breath here. Let's drop that right hand down the mat. Let's peel the left hand high again. You could drop this foot down if you needed to start that way. If you can pick it up, pick it up. One more breath here. Good. Drop that left hand down. Drop the left knee down. Extend the right foot back. Peel the right hand high again. You could stay here or you could pick that leg up. Let's take a couple breaths here. This time as you drop that right knee down, shoot the right arm down and through, threading the needle, come down, extend the left arm up over the head, palm facing down. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more breath. One more breath. And let's unwind, coming back onto all fours. All right, let's go to the other side. Right hand down, left hand high. Shoot the left arm down and through, come down onto that other shoulder, breathe. One more breath here. Good, unwind, coming back onto all fours, curl the toes under, push up and back, downward facing dog. 
that the heels come down towards the mat. Let's walk that dog out a little bit, bending the left and the right and the left and the right, getting some blood into the hip sockets, into the knee joints. Let's build a little heat. Right foot strikes the high, reach it up nice and high. Step the right foot forward and through, back heel spins down, inhale up into warrior one. Big inhale, hands come up nice and high. We're squared up towards this front while we breathe nice and easy here. One more big breath. Good, step the left foot forward to meet the right, sit down into chair. Exhale, swing the arms down and back, palms facing up. Let's pulse the palms up, head up, heart forward for four, for three, for two, for one. Good, inhale the hands back up high and sit down even lower. Forward fold, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, bend the knees, hop, step, jump back. Let's take a vinyasa, high to low push up. Upward facing dog. Let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Breathe nice and easy here. Two big breath. One more breath. Left foot goes high to the sky. Reach it up nice and high. Push the mat away from you. Step that left foot forward and through. Inhale up, warrior one. Big inhale, hands come up nice and high. We're squared towards that front wall. Breathe nice and easy here. Reach the outside edge of the back. Pull the rib cage down. One more big breath here. Good. Step the right foot forward to meet the left. Sit down in the chair. Good. Drop the elbows down by the sides. Make fists with your hands. Head up. Good. Big inhale. Exhale, push. Inhale, pull. Good. Exhale, push. Inhale, pull. Last time. Exhale and push. Good. Hands high. Sit down a little bit lower. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more breath. One more breath. Good. Forward fold. Hands down the mat. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, bend the knees, hop, step, jump back. Let's take a vinyasa, high to low, push up, upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Two big breath here. And one more breath here. All right, let's go right foot high to the sky, reach up nice and high, knee to the nose, round your spine. Good, and reach it back. And again, knee to the nose and extend it back. Good, step the right foot forward and through, inhale up into warrior one. Big inhale, hands come around, nice and high. We're squared up towards this front wall. Okay, let's go warrior two back wall. Swivel turn, bend into your left leg. You're facing the back of your room. Flip the left palm, reverse the warrior, and warrior two. Straighten the left leg, shorten your stance, reach cock and tilt right into trichinasana, triangle pose. Nice and long, finger tip to finger tip, spread the back wide. So as you feel energy from the left heel into the left hip socket, Try to slide your left hand down a little bit more towards your calf. Keep the length through the left side body. Again, big inhale, draw into the hip socket, big exhale, and let that hand travel down just a touch more. It could just be a millimeter. One more breath here. Good, warrior two, bend into that knee. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior, and warrior two. So this right hand's gonna swing for enough, finding high lunge towards the back wall. Breathe nice and easy here. Hands come into prayer, prayer twist, right elbow, left knee, rotating through. Breathe nice and easy here. Feel the rotation through. Draw the thumbs towards heart center. Spread the back wide. Reach to the back heel. Just one more breath. Good. Let's release the hands down to the mat. Send the left foot back to meet the right. You're in plank. Gather up your plank here. Good. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And let's roll back downward facing dog. All right. Right foot goes high to the sky. Reach up nice and high. Let's step that right foot forward and through. Inhale up into warrior one. Big inhale, hands come up nice and high. Good. Warrior two, front wall, swivel and turn. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. This time, let's go extended side angle. Breathe nice and easy or nice and long. Two more breath here. Just let your heart open, feel the rotation through. Maybe take that back foot back a little bit. Sink into your front hip socket and go long. Last big breath. Good, warrior two. All right, listen to the cue. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Cart with the hands down into plank. Good, so pick your left leg up. Bring your left knee forward, tap it with your right hand and put them down. Good, and the other side and down. Try to slow it up. And the other one and down. And right knee and down. And chaturanga, upward facing dog. You'll find the rhythm with that downward facing dog. First time I did it, it was a little funky too. So be okay. We're going to do it again on the other side. Left foot high to the sky. Step the left foot forward and through. Inhale up warrior. I'm sorry, knee to nose around the spine. Extend it back. 
And again, extend it back. All right, now step the left foot forward and through. Inhale up, warrior one. Good, warrior two, back wall. So flip the palm, reverse the warrior, and warrior two. Straighten the leg. So cock into the pelvis, slide the hand down here, breathe. So we're here, big inhale. On the exhale, draw, inhale into the hip socket, exhale your hand down a little bit lower. Let's do that again. Inhale up into that right hip socket, exhale, let the hand drift down a little bit lower. Keep length in this lower side body. One more breath. Good, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Left hand swings for an up high lunge. Hands come into prayer. Prayer twist, left elbow, right knee. Left elbow, right knee. Draw your thumbs towards heart center, spread the back wide, drive through the back heel. Two more breath here. Good, one more breath here. Good, and release the hands down the mat, send the foot backwards, take a vinyasa. High to low push up, upward facing dog. And let's roll back downward facing dog. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, left, left, left foot high to the sky, reach up nice and high. Step the left foot forward and through, inhale up, warrior one. Good, warrior two, front wall. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Good, and warrior two, extended side angle. So again, I use the bottom elbow to rotate through. I use the reach of the top hand to draw the top shoulder back, get long from heel to fingertip. Maybe let's take this left foot back just a touch, sink into the right hip socket, get the front knee over the front ankle. Last two breath, last one breath. Good, warrior two. Good, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Part with the hands down, both sides of that foot, step the foot back, here, breathe. So, pick the left leg up, bring it forward and touch. Good, right one up, bring it forward and touch. Good, and let's left, right, left, and right. Good, chaturanga, upward facing dog. And let's roll back to a downward facing dog, breathe. Two big breath here. One more big breath here. All right, bending the knees, looking forward, hop or step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky, and hands come down into prayer. Two breath. One more breath. Good. Inhale, the hands high, sit down chair. Press into the feet, pick the left knee up. Rotate the left knee open. Draw it back. Hands can stay here or come into prayer, warrior three. Strong through the back leg, drive through the heel, point the toes down. Neck is neutral. Two breath here. One more breath here. Good, step back, warrior two. Let the palm reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Extended side angle. Wiggle your left fingers. Take your left hand towards the side wall, reaching it towards the side wall, and then take it back towards the back wall and turn the palm, let it face up, palm up. Feel the shoulder head rotate open. Big inhale here. On the exhale, turn the thumb down and take the hand behind the back, half bind. Now rotate through, use the elbow to here. You could stay here in this half bind. If you have a modification into a deeper bind, a three quarter bind, Dave's in a modified half bind, full bind, you choose the one that works for you. So once you find your bind, create length from the heel to the crown of the head, feel the rib cage rotate through. Last two breath, last one breath. And warrior two, good. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Cart with the hands down both sides of that front foot, drop the back knee down to the mat. Inhale the hands up high to the sky, Anjali Asana. So we play this in the morning class, the alert class. So it's gonna look like this. We bend the elbows, we open the heart up. We're here in a back bend. I take my hands wide. As I draw my hands together, I pull myself out of a back bend. And then I go hands back up high. Let's try that again. Bend the elbows, open the heart up, let the head roll back, feel the back bend. Hands wide, draw the hands together, pull yourself out of the back bend from the ribs, hands high. Good, let's straighten the front leg, drop the hands down, half split. Ardha Hanuman. If you're a full Hanuman person, go full Hanuman. 
Choice is yours and breathe. Two big breaths here. Good, one more big breath here. All right, let's bend into that front knee, power up your back leg, send your right foot back to meet your left, take a vinyasa to downward facing dog. All right, bending the knees, looking forward, hopper, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Good, bend into the knees, inhale up into chair. As you stand up tall, draw your right knee up high, rotate the hip socket open. Draw it back. Again, hands can come into prayer or stay high. Warrior three. Strong through that back leg. Drive to the heel. Feel your right hip rotate down. Draw into your left hip socket. Chin is neutral. Two more breaths. One more breath. Step back, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Extended side angle. Long and strong here, breathe nice and easy. Reach to the outside edge of that back foot. All right, so we're gonna go the same thing here. So we're gonna swing that arm towards the side wall, palm facing down. Swing it towards the back wall, palm facing up. Big inhale on the exhale, drop the thumb down, take the hand behind the back, bring the hand to the heart. Maybe for a half bind, three quarter bind, or a full bind. Dave's rocking that full bind. So he's trying to heave his heart towards the sidewall. Feel the outside edge of the back foot. Now pull your belly in tight and create length. Two more breaths. There it is. One more breath. And warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's cart with the hands down, set the foot back. Let's take a vinyasa, high to low push up, upward facing dog. Let's roll back downward facing dog. So these are gonna be little half mandala posh, uh, flows here. Okay, so that means we're gonna go around to the back of the mat on one side and we're gonna come back on the same side we went on. So right foot goes high to the sky. Step the right foot forward and through, inhale up into warrior one. So we're in this warrior one. Good, warrior two, back wall, swivel and turn. Weight shifts in this left leg, cast your right leg off right into half moon. Breathe nice and easy here, create length, two big breath. One more breath. Good, step back, warrior two. Got us towards the side wall, toes out, heels in, wiggle a little bit left and right. Yeah, let's go warrior two, front wall. Weight shifts in this right leg, cast your left leg off right back into half moon. Breathe nice and easy here. Two breaths. One more breath. Good, step back, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Carve with the hands down, set the foot back. Let's take a vinyasa. High to low, push up. Upward facing dog. Let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. So let's add on to that on this left side. Left foot goes high to the sky. Step the left foot forward and through, inhale up into warrior one. So we're gonna go warrior two, back wall. We're gonna go into this half moon that we were just in, breathe. Let's drop this left hand behind the back, right hand to your heart, rotate and square, look to the side wall. Hold it here for four, for three, for two, for one, good step back, warrior two. Goddess to the sides, little wiggle left and right. Good, warrior two front wall. Shifting into half moon, let the weight shift, find it, breathe. Let's go ahead and drop this right hand behind the back, left hand of the heart. Strong and long. Two more breath. One more breath. Step back, warrior two. Good, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Card with the hands down, set the foot back, let's take a vinyasa. High to low push up, upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Breathe nice and easy here. Last big breath. All right, right foot goes high to the sky, reach up nice and high. Let's point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. 
Do you have a hip stack? If you want to flip your dog, flip your dog. Drop the foot down, pick the right hand up, find a nice beautiful back bend. Let's come back to a down dog split. Step the right foot forward and through, right into high lunge. Strong through the back leg, drive through the heel. So the right foot forward, we're in this high lunge. Good. Let's visualize floating pigeon. Hands come into prayer. Let the weight shift in the right leg. Take your left ankle, right knee, and sit down into floating pigeon. Breathe. Sit down lower. Breathe. Maybe a little lower and breathe. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good. Think about tree and zip up into tree. Take your left foot into your groin. Hands come into prayer. Set your shoulders down. Release the hands to the high. We're long through your fingertips. Shoulders are down away from the ears. Last big breath here. Left hand to the left knee. Right hand stays high. Bring the knee forward. Snatch the ankle. Stand up tall. Good. Let's take Nataraj. Reaching, kick, and find Nataraj. Drive the toe up and back. Let the heart come forward. A little bend in the standing leg will let you have some more rotation. Drive the heart forward and up. Let the head roll back just a touch. Holding here for three for two, the release is standing, split hands to the mat, left foot high. Two big breath here. One more breath here. Good, big step back, open up warrior two, opening up to the sidewall. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And let's cart with the hands down, step that foot back, let's take a vinyasa. I can do half split on one side, do that. All right, left foot goes high to the sky. Reach it up nice and high. Point the toe, roll the hip open, bend the knee. Good. If you want to flip your dog, flip it on over. Let the head roll back. Breathe nice and easy here. One more breath. Let's come back to a down dog split. Step the left foot forward and through, right into high lunge. So we're here in this high lunge. So visualize floating pigeon, hands can come into prayer. Left, right ankle, left knee, sit down into it, breathe. Sit down a little lower. Sit down a little lower. Holding here for three, for two. All right, think about trees, zip up into tree. Right foot comes ankle, calf or groin. Hands can come back to prayer. Hands can go to the high. Long through your fingertips. Breathe nice and easy here. Right hand to the right knee. Left hand stays high. Bring the knee forward. Snatch the ankle. Stand up tall. Good. Bend the knee a little bit. That standing leg. And then reach and kick, finding not to rush. Drive the toe up and back. Holding here for four. For three. For two. Release into standing split, hands down, right foot high. Breathe nice and easy here, two big breath. One more breath. Good, step back, warrior two. All right, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Cart with the hands down, both sides of that front foot, drop your right knee down to the mat, Anjali Asana. Hands up high. So last time we played with arms out wide. This time it's gonna be, we're gonna bend the elbows, we're gonna open the heart up, we're gonna round arms forward around and back to the front, and then back up to the high. Again, bend the elbows, open up that heart, down and around and up forward, and then back up to the high. Good, last time, bend the elbows, open up that heart, around and forward and back up to the high. Good, hands come down, both sides of that foot, straighten your left leg, half or full split. So don't be afraid of half split. Don't make yourself think that full split is the answer to everything, because it is not. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more breaths. Good, one more breath. All right, let's bend into that front knee, power up your back leg, send your left foot back to meet your right. Let's take a vinyasa to downward facing dog. 
high to low push up, upward facing dog, and roll on back to a downward facing dog. Two big breath here. One more big breath here. All right, bending the knees, looking forward, hopper step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Let's sit down into chair. Hands come into prayer. Prayer twist, left elbow, right knee. So twist it through. Draw your thumbs towards heart center. Spread the back wide. So feel the top shoulder draw back. Feel the bottom rib cage rotate through. You could stay right here. If you want to split the arms, split them. So you could stay here. If you want to drop into a side crow, Dave loves his side crow. He's going to drop and find side crow. So he'll start with legs together. Then he'll, he went dewy potted today. Very nice. Two breath, split legs. One more breath. Nice, he switched over to Kundiana, very nice. Forward fold, hands down to the mat. I put him on the spot there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Sit down into chair. Hands come into prayer. Prayer twist, right elbow, left knee. Breathe nice and easy here. Feel the rotation through. Draw your thumbs towards heart center. Spread the back wide. Again, split the arms if that feels good. You could stay right here. If you want to drop in a side crow, release the hands down and find side crow. Let the weight shift forward. If you want to split the legs, split the legs. You got it on this side, fantastic. And release forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. All right, plant the hands, bend the knees, hop step, jump back, let's take a vinyasa. High to low, push up. Upward facing dog, and let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Breathe nice and easy here. Two big breath. And one more breath. All right, let's go right foot high to the sky. Reach up nice and high. Push the mat away from you. Drive that toe up and back. Knee to the nose, round your spine. Drop the knee almost to the mat, head up hard forward. Good, extend the right leg straight back. Down dog split. Knee to the nose, round your spine. Extend that heart forward. Inhale that heart forward. The knee goes almost to the mat. Good. Extend the leg straight back. Down dog split. Let's step the right foot forward and through. Inhale up into warrior one. And right into warrior one. Squaring yourself up towards that front wall. Breathe nice and easy here. Two big breath. I'm going to grab some blocks. One more breath. All right, let's straighten that front leg. Shorten your stance just a touch. Get folding over that front thigh. Let's find pyramid. Breathe. So in this pyramid, don't be afraid to use blocks. Dave loves his paper towels at home. Breathe. I've said it in a bunch of other classes. Feel the right hip, draw up and back, draw the left hip down. Two breath here. If you don't have blocks and you would like some blocks for your home practice, email me. Next time you're picking up something at the Safeway or the Giant, just stop on by for a second and I will give you some blocks that you can use at home until we can be back at the studio. I just ask you to bring them back. Last breath here. All right, left hand to the mat, right hand to the block or mat, right hand to the sky coming to a revolved triangle. Breathe. So today what I want you to do, to feel rotation, I want you to wiggle your right fingers and then drop your right hand behind your back and then rotate the top shoulder back towards the wall behind you. Now turn and look to the side wall and then try to look up over. Now, actively think of your right hip socket and draw your right hip socket back. There it is. Now, think of how much length can I get from my tailbone to the top of my head. There it is. One more breath. Good, release that hand down to the mat. Bending into the front leg, walk your fingertips forward, kick up standing split. Good, Jiva squat, bend your right leg, left leg comes behind it. Good, standing split. Again, Jiva squat. Standing split. Good, last time, Jiva squat. Gather yourself up here. Think about half moon. As you go up, go half moon. We've been here before. You know how to get there. Long and strong. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good, step back, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Strain your right leg, turn your toes towards the sidewall. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. And then wide leg forward fold all the way down. Let the head come down towards the mat. You can grab ankles, calves, or feet. 
Let the head drift down and breathe. So Dave went into a headstand here, perfectly acceptable. If you wanted to stay in that wide leg forward fold, that's awesome as well. He's got really good control here, awesome power. We'll all meet down in a forward fold when we're ready. Good control down, beautiful Dave. Let's inhale the hands up high to the sky. Warrior two front wall. All right, flip the palm reverse the warrior. Car with the hands down, stepping back, Vashi stas on left hand of the mat, right hand of the sky. Let's open it up and breathe. And let's release that hand down the mat, taking a vinyasa to downward facing dog. Two big breath here. All right, bending the knees, looking forward, hopper step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. All right, inhale the hands up high to the sky, and then hands come down into prayer. All right, let's talk about something before we do the other side. So if you inhale, you're gonna feel your rib cage lift. If you exhale, you're gonna feel the ribs wanna collapse slightly shorter. So and in inhales, it's natural for this to happen, lengthening. Exhales, you have a little bit of rounding as you can't exhale and go up. If you try to exhale and take your shoulders back at the same time, it doesn't feel right. It just anatomically doesn't work. So when you're thinking about breath, if your spine is going long, it's almost always an inhale. If your spine is rounding, it's almost always an exhale. All right, so let's inhale the hands up high to the sky. See, just happened there. Now we exhale, we forward fold. Perfect illustration of what we were just saying. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, bend the knees, hop, step, jump back. Let's take a vinyasa. All right, left foot goes high to the sky. Knee to the nose, round the spine. Inhale as you drop the knee and bring your heart forward. Extend the left leg back. Good, push back down, dog split. Again, knee to the nose, round your spine. Drop your knee almost to the mat, head up, heart forward. Extend the left leg straight back and then down, dog split. Good, step that left foot forward and through. Inhale up into warrior one. So we're on this other side. So square yourself up and breathe. One more breath here, good. Straighten the leg, shorten your stance. All right, you can find that pyramid pose. So if you need your blocks, use your blocks. Melt down over that thigh, breathe. Let's take a couple breath here. Feel the right hip rotate forward and down, draw that left hip up and back. One more big breath here. All right, right hand to the block, left hand to the sky, coming into a revolved triangle. Right hand down, left hand high. Feel the rotation through here, breathe. One more breath. Good, release that hand down. I'm sorry, take that hand behind the back, rotate the shoulder through. So you're using the reach. Let's take another full breath here. All right, release that hand down to the mat. Bend in the front knee, walk your fingertips forward, kicking up, standing split. Right foot high. All right, so Jiva squat. Bend the left knee, right knee comes all the way behind it. Standing split. Again, Jiva squat. Standing split. Good, Jiva squat will hover for a second. Visualize half moon as you come up half moon. Rotate open and breathe. Dave's in a revolve, that is fine. One more breath here. Good, step back, warrior two. Oh, he's in, he was in, I'm sorry. I made a mistake, flip the palm reverse warrior. I couldn't see him. And warrior two. Straighten your left leg, turn your toes towards. Inhale, hands high, all the way down. Wide leg, forward fold, all the way, all the way, all the way. Let the head come down towards the mat. You can grab ankles, calves, or feet. Again, if you're a safe inverter, invert. If that ain't your thing, it ain't your thing. So Dave's really strong in his core. He bailed himself out completely there. He went up a little fast, but then his core said, no, I got this. And then he got it. 
couple more breath here. And we'll all meet down in a wide leg forward fold when we're ready. Fantastic. Good, inhale the hands up high to the sky. And warrior two front wall. Flip the palm reverse the warrior. Cart with the hands down, step the foot back, let's take a vinyasa. High to low push up, upward facing dog. And let's roll back to a downward facing dog. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, bending the knees, looking forward, hop or step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. All right, heel to your feet out nice and wide. Let's sink into yogic squat. So I'll wiggle myself down here, breathe. If you have crow, go. If you wanna play with crow with me, play with crow with me. So step the feet together, pick the toes up high, take the knees up to the triceps, let the weight shift forward, and just see if you can find balance just for a second or two and breathe. Holding here for four, for three, for two, for one. Rock back, breathe. All right, if you wanna give that another shot, Maybe you take the foot a little high, the touch a little higher. Maybe you wrap the elbows in a little easier. Maybe you straighten the arms just a touch. Choice is yours. Find it. When you're ready, make your way back through a vinyasa to down dog. Too big breath here. One more breath here. All right, let's take the right foot up high to the sky. Step the right foot forward and through right into warrior two. Right into warrior two. Hands drop down behind the back, roll the shoulders down away from the ears, humble warrior. So in this warrior two stance, the shoulder will drop inside the knee. You can open up those hips a little bit. Two more breath. Good, one more breath. As you release the arms, pull back into your left hip socket, Skandasana. Hands could be on the ground, hands could be out wide. Good. As you come forward, find lizard pose. Forearms come down to the mat. Take the right foot out. Elbows down, forearms down. Back knee could be up or down. Choice is yours. Breathe easy here. Create length from the heel through the crown of the head. Let the heart come forward. So again, feel that inhale and pull your heart forward. Feel that exhale and settle into that right hip socket. Last two breath. Last one breath. Good, press into the forearm, send your right foot back to meet your left. You're in forearm plank. Breathe nice and easy here. So inhale your pelvis to the ground into sphinx pose. Big inhale, roll your shoulders back and now let your heart come forth. Exhale. Feel the pelvis settle down. Let's take a couple breaths here. Just letting that lower back just get some release, release. One more breath here and release down to the mat. Good, extend the arm straight back towards the back wall. Let's inhale up into Shalom Vasana. Everything comes up off that mat. Get the head up, get the heart up, get the thighs up. Everything up, holding here for four, for three, for two. For one, release down, turn your cheek to the mat. Let's do that one more time. Inhaling up, Shalambhasana. Everything comes up off that mat. Get the head up, get the heart up. Dave's gonna interlock his hands this time. He's driving his knuckles towards the back wall. He'll collapse the shoulder blades slightly. Get the head up, get the heart forward for three, for two, for one, release down, turn your cheek to the mat. All right, hands come to the sides of the chest. Push up and back, downward facing dog. Breathe. All right, left foot goes high to the sky. Reach up nice and high. Let's step the left foot forward and through right into warrior two. Opening up towards the sidewall again, breathe. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior, and warrior two. Hands drop down behind the back, roll the shoulders down away from the air. Take your left shoulder inside of your left knee. Take your knuckles towards the sky, breathe. So the visual I want you to think about is that left ear is coming down and trying to touch your left ankle. Crown of the head's trying to touch the ground. Breathe. One more breath here. As you release the arms, pull back into your right hip socket, Skandasana. 
Good. Go forward into lizard pose on this left side. Forearms down the mat, heel to that left foot out a little bit. Drop the back knee down if you need. Maybe you keep it up. Breathe nice and easy here. All right, pressing in the forearm, send your left foot back to meet your right and find forearm plank. So again, feel from your fingertips to your elbows and I want you to reach to the heels at the same time I want you to bring your heart slightly forward, but don't let the touch drop. There it is, there it is, there it is for three, for two, for one, tiptoe forward into dolphin. So dolphin is just down dog with forearms down on the mat. Breathe nice and easy here creating some length through the spine. And then knees the mat child's pose when you're ready. Breathe. All right, let's come up onto our knees. So we're gonna play with camel. So camel and Donnie Rossin are basically the same pose. Donnie Ross, you're on your belly, you're grabbing your feet and you're kicking up. Camel, we're using gravity to our advantage. So Donnie Ross, it doesn't feel so good on my body, but Camel does. So I start hands at the tush, tuck the tailbone in neutral, push the pelvis forward, then I try to drop one hand, then the other. Lift the heart up with the head roll back and breathe. Let's take a couple deep breaths in that Camel. So once your head just back as a continuation of the spine, drive your pelvis forward and then think, sternum to the ceiling for three, for two, for one, release down, child's pose. All right, let's try that again. Come back up on your knees, hands to lower back, tuck the tailbone in neutral, push the pelvis forward, lift the heart up, let the head roll back, drop the hands down. Again, maybe you get to the ankles, maybe your arms are just dangling. Heart up, head neutral through the spine. It's a continuation of that arch through the spine. One more breath and release, child's pose. Good. All right, let's make our way back to downward facing dog. So we're gonna play with pigeon today. So let's take the right foot up high to the sky. Step the right foot forward and the knee to the right wrist. And let that shin get as parallel to the front of the mat as it can. Dave and I love a block here. Then walk your hands forward and down and find resting pigeon. Breathe nice and easy. So maybe you're on forearms. Maybe you're releasing all the way forward. Maybe your head's coming, forehead's coming to a block. Maybe the forehead's coming to the ground. We're going to be here for a good minute. So just relax into the posture. I like that forehead to the block. To me, that feels good. It keeps my spine neutral. It allows me to find length without worrying about having to get it all the way down. Now, if I didn't need the block under my hip and I could get my hip all the way down to the ground, maybe my forehead would come down to the ground with ease. So Dave just inched that block a little bit forward just to allow him to get a little bit deeper. Let's take a couple of breaths here. Now he's feeling good, he took it all the way down. Fantastic. So again, you don't have to get to the final expression immediately. Take your time, wiggle yourself there. Last two breaths. Last one breath. All right, let's walk the hands back towards the hips, finding a little back bend. So find that pigeon, lift the heart up with the head roll back, breathe. If you wanna bend the knee and grab the ankle, you could bend the knee and grab the ankle. Dave's gonna grab it here. Maybe he pulls it to you. He takes a modified mermaid here. He just takes the hand behind the head and he's pulling that foot towards him, it's beautiful. Release the hands down to the mat, curl the left toe under, send the right foot back, down dog split, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out and put that foot on down. All right, let's try the other side. Left foot high. Take the left knee to left wrist. Let's go pigeon on that left side. 
Walk your hands forward and down, finding resting pigeon. Breathe. So let the head come down towards the mat. Breathe nice and easy here. Last two breath. Actually, let's take a few more. I don't want to cheap you out on this side. What can you soften? Where can you go longer? All right, last breath. Let's walk the hands back towards the hips, finding a little back bend. If you want to bend the knee and grab the ankle, bend the knee, grab that ankle, taking a back bend. One more big breath here and release. Fantastic. All right, curl the right toe under, send the left foot back down, dog split. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And put that foot on down. All right, bending the knees, looking forward, hop or step all the way through onto your tush, all the way through. Good. All right, remove the flesh from the sits bones, sitting up nice and tall. Big inhale, hands up high to the sky. Big exhale, forward fold all the way down. Let the head come down towards the mat. You can grab ankles, calves, or feet. Just breathing easy here. Where can you go longer? Where can you find your ease? Last breath here. And let's come up. All right, right foot stays long, left foot comes in the groin, setting up for Johnny Shirshasana. All right, let's just forward fold towards that right foot. So let yourself melt down over that front right thigh. Breathe nice and easy here. Create length. Last two breath, last one breath. Good, let's come up. Good, let's go Baddha Konasana. Sit up tall here, go long through the spine. Let's take a breath or two here. And let's release to the other side. And let's come up. All right. Baddha Konasana. Breathe. Last two breaths. Last one breath. All right, let's come up. All right, let's go all the way onto our backs. Hug the knees and the chest, just rock gently side to side. Wiggle yourself down. All right, let's guide the left knee down. I'm sorry, the left knee down towards the left armpit. Extend the right leg long. Breathe. One more big breath here. And let's guide this right left knee across the body with the right hand, pulling it down and through. Feel the rotation through. Try to look towards your left hand. Good. 
One more breath. All right, let's come back to center. Extend the left leg long, hug the right knee in. Give it a good old hug. Pull it down towards the armpit to start. Feel the hip socket open just a touch. Left hand guides the right knee across the body. Find a twist. Breathe. One more breath here. Good, come back to center. Good, feet flat down on the mat. I'm sorry, let's get soup to bottom. So the feet get the knees out wide, one hand to the heart, one hand to the tummy. Let's take a couple breaths here. One more breath. All right, let's come up. All right, so the feet down on the mat, hands by your side, push into the feet, push the pelvis up, finding bridge pairs, maybe wiggling a little bit left and right on the shoulder blades to take the pelvis even higher. Let's take a couple breaths here. If you want to go into wheel instead, take that. We're going to be here for four breaths. Last two breaths. And release down. Windshield wipe of those knees, left and right, left and right, left and right. All right, second one when you're ready. Bridge your wheel. If you want to take that wheel, go into wheel. If you want to stay in bridge, stay in bridge. Push the pelvis up, find length through the spine. Breathe nice and easy here. Let's take three or four breaths here. And release down when you're ready. Windshield wipe with his knees left and right and left and right. All right, if you want to go legs up the wall on a block or no block, you can do that. If you're playing with a headstand or a handstand or a forearm stand, you may play with an, inv an inversion of your choice. If none of those sound appealing to you, you may take whatever inversion you feel like you need to take for you. We've got about a minute or so to play. Looks like Dave's going to be setting up for headstand. He's in a tripod headstand. He's making a triangle with his hands and his head and then powering both legs up together. If you need a wall, make sure there's a wall by you. We're going to take about five more breaths here. So whatever you're in, take those five more breaths. If you're in a shoulder stand, go back into plow. If you're in a headstand or handstand, when you're ready, you'll come down. You'll hit child's pose. If you're in just legs up the wall, just let the legs come gently down onto the mat. From plow, rolls forward all the way onto your backs. From child's, from child's pose, make your way onto your backs. We're all going to meet on our backs. Hands come up underneath the bum. Lift the heart up with the head roll back. Let's find fish. Nice counter pose here. Lift the heart up with the head roll back. Find that beautiful back bend here. Let's take two big deep inhale, big inhale. Exhale out the mouth. Ah. Let's do that lion's breath one more time. Big inhale through the nose. Stick the tongue out the mouth. Ah. Releasing down. Let's grab the outsides of the feet and pull the knees into the armpits. Happy baby. So imagine your feet are flat up on the ceiling and then you're pulling them off the ceiling down into your armpits. Feel the hip flexors engage. If you want to straighten one leg and then the other, you can. If you want to straighten both legs, you can do that. Let's take a few more breaths here. When you're ready, releasing down onto the mat, finding fun and relaxation. So let's play with a chakra cleansing meditation during this Shavasana today. So what I want you to do is get yourself comfortable, palms facing up with the feet split away from each other gently. And I want you to bring your attention to the base of your spine. Good. 
So right at the base of the spine is the root chakra. Feel the energy ball there. It's getting really, really big. The energy is collecting. It's drawing all negative energy out of your feet, out of your legs. It's all collecting right at that ball. Big inhale it up to the crown of the head. Exhale out the mouth and let it go. Oh, feel that ball just release. Again, let's bring our attention this time to the soles of our feet. There's two balls at the soles of your feet. They're gathering energy at your feet. Good. On the next inhale, draw it to the root chakra, to the base of the spine. Feel it there. Breathe. This time, what I want you to do is draw that ball up right at the base of your head, right to the, your throat chakra, and breathe. Feel the energy in that throat chakra. Draw from the fingertips into... There's one ball in the right hand, one ball in the left hand. Draw those balls and merge it with that ball that's right at that throat, throat chakra. Inhale that big ball up to the top of your crown and exhale it out. Ha. So let yourself just find your Shavasana, what's good for you. So I find something interesting. People that are by nature giving, caring, nice people, for lack of a better word, I find are getting more caring, more nice, more giving. And people that tend to look more on the negative side of things are tending to look more on the negative side of things. So we're not all one way or another. There are some things I can get very negative about. And there's most things that I try to be fairly positive about. But what I try to do is when I find myself down that path where I'm getting myself into a negative mode, where I'm starting to feel everything's kind of going the wrong direction, I actually acknowledge it. I say, all right, you're thinking that way. Identify it. And then I try to make correct, corrective actions to get myself out of it. And sometimes that means taking a big step back so that you can move forward. So the best analogy I like to use sometimes is a bow and arrow. An arrow shoots long and far and fast. But what's the first motion of that bow and arrow? It's that draw back. It's the collecting itself. It's the storing up of that energy. And then what is that beautiful movement forward? It's the release. So next time you find yourself in a negative mode, draw back a little bit. Feel yourself collect yourself, collect your energy. And then think of a release and then release yourself forward away from that negative dark side. And I guarantee you, you'll feel a little bit better. In my classes, you don't get a big thumbs up from me because you attempted every extreme posture. You get a huge thumbs up from me when you took all of your postures within your practice with integrity, with beauty. Because if you do that, then those beautiful expressions will follow. So in yoga, next time you're not finding the posture you want, take a step back from it. Gather up your tools, your energy. Maybe I need to be stronger. Maybe I need more breath. Maybe I need to be more flexible. And then come forward into that posture with grace and dignity. All right, let's start to bring some attention back to our fingers and our toes. Pull the knees into the chest when you're ready. Give them a hug. Roll into your left side and then push to a seated position facing the front of the room. Hands going to prayer heart center. So let's grow long from the tailbone of the crown of the head. Big inhale through the nose. Big exhale out the mouth. Ha. Ah. Thumbs come to the third eye as we bow forward. Namaste. 
Allison should be back next week. Hopefully she'll be here. Um, Dave's going tonight, so if you didn't get enough yoga today, Dave's going to play fun tonight. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, just email me. I will get back to you, and we will try to make it through this difficult time. We miss you all. Hope to see you again real soon in the studio. Namaste.